What's going on guys? Early in the morning, raspy voice, <laughs> eyes tired, still trying to wake up, and uh, we're on the road. <clears throat> Had to stop by and pick up a couple things at another place um, for the boat. And uh, just in the process of waking up more than anything, I am uh, really tired. My sleep schedule is way different than this. <laughs> um, uh, mo you know, just because of my work schedule mostly, but I am a natural late night. I love staying up late. That's just my natural thing. Um, but we waking up. We out here. Uh, we got uh, four and a half hours of driving ahead of us. Wake on up, and then we'll be at Midway Marine in Fulton, Mississippi. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna work on trying to wake up and and get going down the road and i'll catch up with you guys when i'm a little bit more entertaining and a little bit more talkative <laughs> peace hey guys back on the road well we've been on the road not back on the road i say back on the road because it's kind of like what it is for you guys which we were on the road last time i cut off so that's technically not the case but any at any rate we back to being awake and alert I'm actually awake now. It takes a little while. It usually takes me a good 30, 45 minutes to really wake up. Before that point, I'm not much conversation. I'm not much fun. I try not to be rude. Usually do a good job at that, but I'm not the one to be talking to for the most part. I need a good 30 minutes, and I need some Advocare Spark to get me going. I need a little something to get me going and keep me going. So, um, you know, it's just the deal, man. So we on the road, man. It's uh, we're, we're just leaving. Uh, we're in Alabama now. We're about probably 70 miles to Birmingham. Um, we just keep it going, man. You know, don't even need a whole lot of light now. It's starting to get daylight. Um, I love driving at night and whatnot. So uh, early and late. I don't like driving in the middle of the day. Usually a lot too much traffic and honestly driving at night and early and late and stuff is really great for long drives they're not near as fatiguing so i try and plan my drives and my trips as much as i can based on that um, just because driving during the middle of the day even with sunglasses there's more traffic more people granted there's a lot of traffic now so it is early in the morning but um there's just uh, a lot less things that i gotta worry about and, it could be straining on your eyes, even with sunglasses, just the sun being out. At least for me, I, I had LASIK surgery, so um, the sun is very, um, it really hurts my eyes. Um, so I always have to wear sunglasses. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about too much of the little things, but we're going to get on the road, man. I had to make a pit stop on the side of the road. I didn't want to stop anywhere and waste the time, but uh, when you got to go, you got to go. I had a lot of water and whatnot this morning so um yeah i'm thinking about some breakfast here soon though i'm gonna have to make a pit stop for that um i'm not really sure what man to be real honest with you i've been eating so bad lately and i've been eating bad i'm gonna eat bad later today because i'm probably gonna have to get lunch on the go and i know i'm gonna be craving something good so i kind of want to just not be too bad this morning I, honestly i'm thinking about trying to look on my phone and find a smoothie place or something and get a smoothie for breakfast that way i can be bad when i eat lunch i can eat what i want um shouldn't steal anyway but i'm going to you only live once um anyway catch back up with you in a little bit we'll, i'll probably hook up with you when i'm in mississippi peace hey guys back with you i'm in mississippi had one other pit stop that i had to make and here we are, man. Um, you can get a close view. You get a sneak peek of the boat. Following him to the boat ramp real quick. And uh, we're going to get up here and run the boat around a little bit. Just, you know, make sure everything's good to go. And um, grab some paperwork and this and that. And, uh, you know, just make sure everything works. That's the biggest thing. And I don't plan on being out here. We might make a couple cash just because I, I got to. But, you know... I gotta be careful because I could easily sit there and just keep fishing for hours and hours and hours right now, especially with me not being able, not having fished much at all over, not really at all, period, none over the last three months. 
and uh, whatnot and um, you know really anticipating this so I could fish all day no problem uh, I'm on limited sleep but we're gonna try and make it make it back home worst case scenario I might be grabbing a hotel or grabbing a friend's couch in Alabama uh, on the way back there's a pretty good chance I, I'm, I'm hyped now I was really tired on the way here but we'll see um, so yeah man I'm really looking forward to it stop and show you the boat later and uh, can't wait man she looks man that boat looks good I'll talk to you guys in a bit so we're back on the road got the boat in tow we're heading back we're already in Alabama probably not too far from Birmingham right now and uh, you know really just been uh, driving and just thinking um, just thinking about what I want to do next and, and different things like that uh, whenever you make a, a big purchase um, there's things to think about before and after so uh, you're just on the road and we're gonna get back to the house I mean I'm probably gonna stop and get something to eat here before long and get to the house and just get everything ready for tomorrow uh, I'm getting home a little bit later than I'd like to but hey gotta, it is what it is I stayed we stayed out on the lake longer than I thought we would and I was I was about an I was about an hour later than I was hoping um, arriving also um, overslept a little bit actually um, so uh, yeah I mean that's it I mean there's really not a whole lot just a lot going on in my mind right now and um, you know just kind of deep in thought the whole drive I'm at peace I feel great I'm, I'm I love I love the boat I'm look I can't wait to use it um, you know gonna be fishing over the next couple days but there's a lot of things to get together and and, and, uh, and get in motion especially with the new website you know Johnny Jenkins Outdoors JRJ Bass Fishing Guide Service you know I'm gonna start a guide service um, and it you know and that's something I guess I could talk about now while we're at it I mean what's new with me I don't know how much I can't remember how much I talked about it in the previous vlog um, but this is basically vlog number two for the most part and you know with this I talked about it in my Facebook live video which I'm gonna be doing more of those um, throughout the, the the weeks and everything I want to do those on a regular basis I really enjoy doing them um, so I talked about it in, on there and I'll leave a link in, in all my videos also to get on my fan page and you can watch my posts and watch my videos um, from there the Facebook live ones and so this kind of really starts a bit of a new beginning I'm gonna get into it um, you know, I'm wanting to start a guide service, and, and I'm going to be brief because I'm going to talk a lot more about this. I mean, this is my life, and so I'm going to be speaking about it, and you're going to see regular videos at this point. But, um, you know, now that I've got a boat, got my next boat and, and everything, I'm wanting to start a guide service because the deal is, is I want to make a living in the fishing industry. Um, it may not be solely tournaments. It may never be tournaments. Um, I think that's where... I'm meant to be but I'm just not quite ready for it um you know but I think that's where I'm meant to be and that's the direction that's what I'm focused on but the deal is that I need I need more income and and I need to be fishing more so the combination of the two you know if you work more more of an income guess what you got less time to fish if you're not making the income uh, you can't do what you need to do in life you can't buy awesome boat like this um, you can't get extras you can't you won't have money to fish you won't have money to practice you won't have money to do everything I mean that's what the world revolves around I don't need to get into that too much but that's really the gist of it you know um, I need to I, I want to be doing that and I think it's something I'm meant to do anyway man I mean I I've had people go on, come on my boat for you know like $80 gas or something like that and they can keep the fish type stuff I've done you know a handful of those or almost almost two handfuls actually and you know and they're fun I, I, I'm the type of guy that I'm just naturally fun and cool to be around so and especially when we're talking fishing you know I think that I know that I'll be great at that and I've even been told that I'm a natural at that because you know besides putting you on fish and putting you in an amazingly rigged out beautiful boat but on top of that you're gonna have a great time with 
um, with me on the water and it, and it comes down to you know people are gonna everyone's gonna have a good time with me but then there's gonna be a, a good bit of people especially if I can get customers from my YouTube and things like that it's gonna be a deal where you're, you're gonna fish with a youtuber you're gonna fish with someone you've looked up to for a little while and you know you've seen what I've done on video and you can expect that in guide trips um, I'm gonna be guiding all over the state of Georgia uh, I'm probably gonna have some different rates and prices uh, because of how far I am away from lakes so for example starting out man I live an hour away from the good lakes that I'm gonna guide on I'm gonna do some night fishing and four-hour guide trips on a lake that's 30 minutes from my house it's a decent lake you can catch fish and you can even catch big ones and stuff like that but it's not great and it's not it's not even really it's barely good and uh, I just don't really like the lake too much and it's a real small lake but you know for simple guide trips I'm gonna have a lot of different packages I'm working on it with the website and having all that set up hopefully within the next four to six weeks um, and with with all that, I'm going to be guiding on Lake Oconee, Lake Sinclair, and you got any people that want to learn how to skip a jig, if you want to learn how to skip docks, we go out and do that all day and we can catch fish, and, and by the end of it, you are going to be very good at it, very good at it. You know, heck, we can take some cheap fishing line, and we can do spinning rods and bait casters all day long, and you can learn it. Or I can get you on a school to fish offshore, maybe, or you know what or you know on points or whatever the case may be you know different cover or whatever but we're gonna get on some fish we're gonna have trips like that I'm also gonna have Lake Lanier and Hartwell are great lakes to guide on Lake Lanier is about 45 minutes to uh, an hour and a half away from me depending on the traffic level um, but uh, it's kind of tough because you have to drive through Atlanta but it's a great lake to guide on it's full of fish um, it's in a metro Atlanta area so once I get the service going and I get some of these other things that I'm working on I'm hoping I can get some 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 customers out that aren't related to my fan base and my YouTube and different things like that and and I understand the going may be slow you know at first and, and I heck I may not even get one customer the entire year and I know that I understand that but it's a process you got to work at it and and it's something I'm very passionate about it and it's really something I need to work so I need this to work in order to progress in in my vision and what I'm meant to do um, because regular day job just ain't cutting it working so much and granted I really do love my new job and, and I don't see that changing anytime soon I think it's a really good fit for me um, it's not meant for a long-term career or anything but it is a great fit for me right now I really enjoy it um, but it's just not the deal, man. I mean, it. you know, some be, for me, I need to fish more. I need to fish more. And, yes, I am going to fish, like I said, I'm going to be fishing on a more regular basis and things like that. But I need to fish uh, even more often and on a more regular basis and, and things like that. And I need to create more income to provide for equipment, tournaments, um, you know and naturally spending more time on the water I'm gonna have more places to fish and better understanding of the lakes that I'm gonna fish tournaments on too so it's all twofold it's all here and there and you know it's basically my YouTube channel is gonna be modeled around John and Jenkins outdoors and which is still gonna be the website and JRJ bass fishing guide service uh, I may change the name to JRJ's um, but it's probably just gonna be JRJ and it's just one of those things that needs to happen and for a long time I really wasn't into the whole guide thing but I see it now it's it I'm, I'm perfect I really think I'm perfect for it I mean you know you can have tough customers here and there uh, but it's all about getting people that on are on all a different experience levels. so if you're not that experienced at all and you don't know much about bass fishing and you want to come out on a trip and it's something you want to do we can plan some day a date or some dates and we can go and you're gonna learn so much not only about how to catch fish in that given day not only just that season but you're gonna you're gonna have a few spots that you can fish yourself and you're gonna have spots you're gonna have an open discussion with me the entire day the entire length of the trip where you can ask any question related to fishing or me or you whatever and you know that's what's great about it and 
this is something I really I'm very passionate about it's something that all my videos are gonna be about um, not completely I mean and, and I know if you've made it this long and some I'm gonna be having in a disclaimer I know you guys you too man you guys want to see fish catches and that stuff's coming um, but you know it's gonna be a lot of this where I'm just trying to show you what I got going on and what I'm doing and